Ragnarok or most common uh, scene of uh, Peter the, or his denial about, about Jesus. Name it. Mention it to me. And he will not leave or he will not forsake Jesus. But Jesus told him, even the, the, the cock row, before the cock rows, you will deny me three times. Although Peter denied Jesus, when Jesus was resurrected from the dead, did he restore Peter or not? He restored Peter. Why? Because God is a God of chances. He didn't, he didn't ask or he didn't look for somebody else. He didn't, he didn't say to Peter, Okay, Peter, because you have denied me, I need to think of a second chance to you or I need to look for somebody else. I don't trust you anymore. No. Yes. Why? Because our God is a God of chances. Amen. Okay, aside from Peter, maybe you're, you're not familiar with James, the brother of John. They are the brothers who said, uh, who are, whose mom or whose mother told Jesus or asked Jesus, Jesus, when you're seated on your throne, let my my sons sit on the right hand, on the left hand. And Jesus told them, can you drink the cup of my suffering? And they answered to Jesus, yes, we can. So in, in Acts chapter 12, James, the brother of John, was killed for his belief in Jesus. Are you following me? Okay, maybe more more popular, Jonah. Amen? Okay, I, would, I wouldn't go any farther about that because you know three of them. Okay, one thing or another thing, quitting is not an option for his calling. Are you aware of that? Maybe you can quit to your job, maybe you can quit to your friendship or to, to your relationship, but to our calling with God, we cannot quit. Amen. 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 Do you know why? Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 9, Then I said, I will not make, make mention of him, nor speak any more of his name. But his word was in my heart like a burning fire, shut up in my bones, I was weary of holding it back and I could not. Do you understand what, what it means? So Jeremiah came to a point of wanting to quit. But on those times when he wanted to quit, the conviction of the Holy Spirit, the conviction of the calling of God within him was, a, was like a fire burning on his heart and shut up on his bones. You cannot resist that. If I feel this still is so hot, my first reaction would be withdraw my hand from it. How can you withdraw yourself when the fire is within your heart and shut on your bones? You cannot withdraw. That's how strong the conviction of the Holy Spirit is when you want to quit from the calling of God. Amen. 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 Okay. You can't escape from it either. Even if you're told to go to Nineveh and you want to go to Tarshish, you can go to Tarshish with, with, uh, by escaping your calling. God will go wherever you go because you can't escape from His calling. Yes. Amen. Okay. Second thing about uh, God's gift and calling, once you serve Him, it will be your heart's cry to keep serving Him. Yes. It will be your heart's cry. This is the reason when you come to a point that, oh, I'm a bit lazy this uh, morning. I will go to church. But you can't resist. You still get up. You still uh, change your clothes. And you still take the bus or drive your car and go to church. Why? Because it is your heart's cry to serve Him and to attend His fellowship. Amen. 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 Okay. Because life satisfaction and fulfillment is in serving Him or fulfilling His calling. Amen? Amen? It is my personal testimony that uh, way back in the Philippines, I was serving the Lord for nine full years, nine long years, and I made a covenant to the Lord that I would serve Him as full-time with the rest of my life to the best that I could. But unfortunately, I haven't kept my covenant, but it is my heart's cry that uh, hopefully by 
next year, if I don't resign from the hospital, I, I will just be taking two nights in a week. Because it is my husband. Although I could earn lots of money from, from working in the hospital, although it's quite a hard work, but life satisfaction is not on the money that you've earned, but life satisfaction is on fulfilling your calling with God. Amen. 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 Okay. You should not wonder what, why at times you want to give up, but you just can't do it. Just be honest with me. How many of you here who, who had an experience or who had a feeling of quitting, but he can just do it? <laughs> Most of us. We undergo those points in our spiritual relationship with God wherein we wanted to quit, but we can just do it. Why? Because it is our hearts quiet to serve Him. It is our hearts desire to keep in touch with our calling with God. Amen? Okay. There is a force within us that pushes us to go on. Do you believe that? Amen. God will enable us once we, we commit ourselves to serve Him, God will enable us and this anointing of God and this divine enablement of God will keep pushing us so that we can fulfill our calling with God. Okay, one more thing about this. This indicates we've been chosen. Amen. 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 You may say, Pastor, what about those people who have been in the church before? What about those people who have not maintained their attendance in the church or who doesn't care about attending in the church anymore? Well, they have been called as well. But when you have a feeling or when you experience the force of God working within you that you can just quit, that indicates that many have been called, but you are chosen by God. Amen. 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 Listen for example. During Sundays, lots of people receive an uh, invitation to attend church. Do you agree with me? Lots of people have opportunities to be in church, but the point that you are here, the fact that you are here, that indicates that out of many who are called, you've been chosen by God because we are not the one who chooses him, but he is the one who chooses us. Amen. Amen. What an opportunity and a blessing. Amen. Okay. Matthew chapter 20 verse 16, so the last will be first and the first last, for many of are called, but few are chosen. Yes? Okay. Third thing, there will be a particular point in your life where you reach the point of no return. Does it make sense? Okay, let me illustrate so. When, uh, when I get myself involved in the fraternity, I just received 143 full blast paddle. Just 143. Uh, first blood came out.